The COVID-19 crisis has shown us that our old systems are not fit anymore for the 21st century. Now is the historical moment, the time, not only to fight severe virus, but to shape the system. In short, we need a great reset. What the fourth industrial revolution will lead to is a fusion of our physical, our digital, and our biological identities. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. This is our chance to accelerate our pre-pandemic efforts, our pre-pandemic efforts to reimagine economic systems that actually address global challenges like extreme poverty, inequality, and climate change. Well, we're loading up the trucks and we're heading to Ontario. We've got a lot of miles to go. See the work's gotten slow and the boys are getting restless. Look out, Ottawa, Ontario. Well, we're coming down the 16, we're coming down the 1. We're from BC, Alberta and Saskatchewan. And if you can't hear our big trucks humming way out in the west, we'll bring them to your doorstep. That's right, boys, going on down to Ottawa town. You see, Mr. Prime Minister, it shouldn't be too much to ask. Pretty sure old Parliament Hill runs on natural gas, and I've seen that car you drive. Safe to say she don't plug in. So if burning oil's for sinners, well then, buddy, you're all in. Yes, we're rolling down the yellow head, we're coming down the one. We're rolling 18 wheelers, and we're bringing everyone. Everyone who's tired of waiting for you to come around. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, we're coming to your town. Well, we're loading up the trucks and we're heading to Ontario. We've got a lot of miles to go. See, the work's gotten slow and the boys are getting restless. Look out, Ottawa, Ontario. Look out, Ottawa, Ontario. You've sold us out to globalism. Okay. You are not working for Canada. You are working for your globalist partners. I wonder how much they're paying you to betray Canada. Okay. What do we do with traitors in Canada, Mr. Trudeau? We used to hang them, hang them for treason. And you're doing that very same thing to us now. Okay. You sometimes hear about liberal bias in the media these days, how they're constantly letting off our government, letting our government off the hook for no good reason. Frankly, I think that's insulting. It's clear that they let us off the hook for a very good reason, because we paid them $600 million. <laughs> you don't get stellar headlines like these without greasing the wheels a bit. So you've got a thing on the left, CO2, that you want to get to zero, and that's going to be based on the number of people, the services each person's using on average, the energy on average for each service, and the CO2 being put out uh, per unit of energy. So let's look at each one of these and see how we can get this down to zero. Uh, probably one of these numbers is going to have to get pretty near to zero. Uh, that's back from high school algebra, but let's, let's take a look. Uh, first, we've got population. Uh, the world today has 6.8 billion people, that's headed up to about 9 billion. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. 
The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same stories without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this, this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to our, our democracy. democracy. We're seeing a lot of people fall prey to disinformation. And if conservative MPs and others want to start talking about conspiracy theories, well, that's their choice. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. Conspiracy theories. Reset. Conspiracy theories. Reset.